Well, tonight, authorities in Virginia are investigating an unprecedented outbreak of opioid overdoses at just one high school in the last three weeks, with 19 total juvenile overdoses so far this year in the county. CBS's Christina Ruffini reports all the cases are believed to involve the synthetic opioid fentanyl. Parents need to talk to their children. For some parents in Loudoun County, Virginia, the subject of many of those conversations is fentanyl. My husband and I are absolutely having these conversations with our kids because it's a reality. Since class started, there have been 10 suspected fentanyl overdoses across area high schools, according to the district. None of the students died, but four were given the overdose reversal drug naloxone or Narcan, and some required CPR. I'm incredibly worried. Loudoun County Superintendent Aaron Spence. I'm not just worried about it for our students. I'm worried about this for our communities. And we want to be on the front lines with our community, helping to solve this problem and understand that schools can't do this alone. The Loudoun County Sheriff's Office says it's already investigated 19 cases of opioid-related overdoses involving minors so far this year. We want to get to the bottom of this before any of these teenagers lose their lives. Parents in Loudoun County are now looking for answers. The spotlight is on Parkview County, or Parkview High School right now. But this is a county problem. This is a this is a nationwide problem right now. It is not just limited to what's happening at Parkview High School. Virginia is one of 36 states that allows Narcan or the generic naloxone to be administered in K through 12 schools. Tonight, the superintendent here says they're considering allowing students to carry it on them, even in their backpacks in case of an emergency. Nora. Christina Ruffini, thank you.